Hello everybody, welcome back to 2K21. How are you doing today? We are going to be doing the number four game in the Spotlight Challenges. The NBA assist record, you only need 15 team assists, you don't need 15 player assists. But my goal in this game is to get Scott Skiles, Skittles, 15 assists by himself. So we're actually going to be running a pretty fun lineup. This is the lineup we're going to be using. I have used this, I just want to call him Nick, because that's just, I don't like the way that's spelled, it just looks weird. I haven't, I've only played a couple games with him, so I've used him before. He's a pretty good card, but his cousin Shy is a lot better. He's definitely going to be more expensive, but I don't know. This card isn't bad. It's just not great. It's jump shots pretty slow. We're going to use Michael Porter Jr., who's pretty new. Carmelo, because we love Carmelo. Hassan, because obviously, and we just use some dynamic duos down here. These two are, em well, these three are emeralds, and he's a ruby. And then we, we just use Lamar, because Lamar's tall. So, this is the lineup we're going to be using. I know in this video, I'll only be showing the first two and last two minutes and assists that are highlights from Scott Skiles in the middle. Because if I just run it like that, it's just a little bit easier. And we'll be using him for his true use. He's not a scorer. I think during his 30 assist, he might have had two or six points or something. He's now here getting double-doubles and stuff. Welcome, everyone. Now, Thanks I've already played I like the court better now without the ridiculous amount of shine. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burke, Greg Anthony, and David I wanted, like, I was going to make my floors white and then make them white wood, but when you change the color, when you change the color, you lose the wood, and it's just solid, which I don't like the look of solid wood. I think it's garbage, and this light wood is still not white. It's like a yellowy brown. And they convert it last on attempt number three. Vucevic has got the game so this card's pretty good for so pretty much match. two things, dribbling and, and driving. I don't like his jump shot because it's so better. slow. If he's like truly, right truly open, like super open, and it's, it's going to be easy. You're going to get the points. You're going to get the buckets. Fultz, Ooh, looking around. Guard him up. Guard him up. Outside that Fultz card, I kind of wish they would have given his Ruby card his uh, the basket glitched. Off the assist from me a little bit to think of what so it was. This glitch card is fire. I try to use it in as many challenges that I just think are fun or easy to beat, to the rag, which is most of them, but the help, he's a very good card. Even if you play him online, his release is still fire. He's almost got it. Curry limit range. Now, I wouldn't test how far you can go back because you're going to start missing. Once you start missing, you start losing. You know, outstanding start. You Quick. Three of your first no. Goals. And Even it's passes are flashy by I don't want Nikola Vucevic, a very What's effective up? playmaker at the pivot. So we're at Vucevic is very three, calm. which we multiply that by four, we're at 12. We just need one more. Makes the simple but we're, pass. we're on track. Because then we're at 16, which is one over. Which is good, because that's really what we want. Come now, on. here's Fultz. Yeah, Fultz comes nice. On that one. He gets a lot of and ones because his animation is just that good. One on Pull one up. Fast break. Bang! That's that a green. One up quick. Porter's got five. So, we're closing in on the first two minutes. The we'll be showing you just Skiles. I don't saying it. It just sounds weird. Skiles highlights off of his assist. Now, we're not, we're not doing no dunks with him. I don't think he has a rating for it. And the shot's so slow, I don't think I'm ever going to get one now, open. So, Fultz. come back. T right on him. Well, I'll talk to you during the highlights, and then shot clock I'll be fully back in the last two minutes. And then so, let's get into yeah, these highlights. Not going to lie, if you make half, the challenge something other than what it is, like, try to get 15 with one player, it's going to make it more fun. Because even these times when I'm missing, and I just chuck it across court, and then I make it, it's like, well, I may make for all these assists. Six. Instead of, oh, I need to play like this and I want to win. When I don't play like I want to win is when I'm having the most fun. That's why when I'm just playing to have fun, cards like CP3 are fun. I'm not going to lie, this is a white clone of Ruby CP3. It's the nicest way to say it, except for CP3's Ruby card has a way better, faster jump shot. I mean, you throw oops, the oops are good. It doesn't feel like you're ever going to miss. It seems like it's always on, on spot for them to catch it. And there were multiple times where I'd get up, and I wanted to take a layup, but I couldn't because the challenge wasn't to score layups with him, which was about right here. It was to get the assists, which was good. It was fun. 
this is why coach at first I thought I, I wasn't gonna make it this but tells it all. I think this is in this one we'll see this is our 15th assist and I wanted something nice I already threw up an oop to, uh, to, uh, to Carmelo and he catches it and does a windmill that's a perfect way to end off 15 but that, that ain't the last assist. I made sure that that last one was to the same man because he was hot. But the thing is, he bricked it first. So hard. He bricked it so hard. I just threw it back. It's a two. Bang. All right, we are back from the highlights. There were some decent highlights, and we did finish off with quite a few assists with Skiles. But out of all that, I don't, I don't know. We've got one to me, John Wall is fourth. a more fun card to use. I'm talking his Emerald, it's as long as you dynamic own. duo it with, with it. Marcus Cousins. He is pretty fun. Wall dishes to Tatum. I mean, as you can tell, I got a double-double with him. I'm going to try to Williams. push it to 20 Wall, points and then good. just go for more assists. How about that finish by John Wall? The defense was not <clears> I know I said I was going to use diamond cards, good. and then I looked and I was like, I didn't even use a diamond card. I don't even know who I'd want to use. I don't know. With the steal. Let's push it. Push it. Come on. Basket is good. He'll get a chance. The reason I like this John Wall is because he's just he's interesting. He's fun. He looks good he in, in the Knicks jersey. And quickly takes advantage. And that's typical but I mean, of this guy. He's always I don't know. Some players just don't look right. Like Jason Tatum, that don't look right. Jalen Brown, that don't look right. Demarcus now, Cousins. Carter Williams. It doesn't look right. But John Wall in a Knicks jersey, I could, I could see that. Left in the, game. the Knicks were supposed to get him like every time that he was a free agent, and then they were supposed to trade for him every time they had Five enough cap the to they need this. displace his again off the contracts, mark. which are always ginormous. And to be fair, he deserved them. Prime John Wall. Not even prime. Healthy John Wall is a monster. He can get you 10 assists and 15 points every game. But it, maybe if he doesn't, he gets you 30 with 7 assists. Or maybe he just gets you 20 assists with 17 points. But John Wall is a player that you can't be like, Oh, he's not even that good. Really, this person's better. John Wall or Russ, I'm choosing John Wall every time. I don't care if Russ actually plays more. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. It's rebounded by New York. I mean, come on, Jack that one. Go around, go around. Come on. Oh, 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 I don't care if it's controversial. This card. This card. Now, there's your dunk now in the game, I'd rather use some of the Russ cards. But Wall puts a little extra on that one. Russ does have a really good diamond. I can't wait. I wanted that. Now here's Ennis. Stupid John Wall. I think it's a diamond or a pink diamond. Inside, but the card's going for like 400k. And I only Williams. need him in the set. I don't oh, think I bought nice the other defense. card. I think I got him in a pack. Just got lucky. Finished off strong. Oh, we missed. No with the it's okay. So no problem for New York as they get the win. We did get the dub though. There's not a lot set. more cards that I need to review. So I think in these next couple games, we're just gonna build teams around a specific type, like a three and D, a slashing, probably still D, double D. <laughs> we ain't going with double D. There ain't no way I'm running a small ball who plays defense in a big men who also only play defense it's just not happening i'm not a post player i can't do it so yeah this challenge was very easy i had 18 assists with just skiles alone just skiles i think we'll take a look i'm going to show you that i have some of the cards for the throwback i don't have all of them i do have bradley beal i got him for for like 30 or like i didn't get him for a lot as you can see he is going for over 200k i'm not spending 200k I will get him by tomorrow, though. He was going for buy now yesterday. So, I will have him for his challenges. There's a 0% chance I'm going to do his challenges without him. Which, he just has two easy ones and mornings, two easy ones. And Bradley Beal's 9. I wish Bradley Beal was 7 and 8. Because that means we could have used him twice. But we'll just have to use morning for a triple threat game and... A rebound challenge which is probably also not going to be hard if you just play defense i'll probably show you an easy lineup so come back for the next video when we start doing the caldwell challenges peace